We start off with city news. New York City Mayor Eric Adams enacted a groundbreaking bill mandating that all city-owned vehicles go electric by the year 2038. Now, this action forms part of the city's broader commitment to reduce emissions and champion sustainability. The mayor stated, quote, zero emission vehicles mean cleaner air for all New Yorkers, fewer greenhouse emissions and cost savings on fuel and maintenance are just a real win-win. In addition, the mayor unveiled plans for four solar carports to be installed at New York City Housing Authority properties. These installations will enable residents and staff to charge their electric vehicles with renewable energy. In other news, the Knowledge House recently organized the Summit on Equity, Digital Equity to be exact, at our new Bronx Step Media Studio in La Centrale in the South Bronx. Our Bronx Step reporter, Kyrie Moody, has a story. The Knowledge House hosts a digital equity summit at BronxNet New Media and Technology Studios at La Central South Bronx. The summit included food and refreshments, resources, networking opportunities, and facts about digital equity across the five boroughs. Digital equity can mean so many different things, but for me, it's about equity for all in whatever that means, whether it's equity in terms of innovation, equity in how you think, equity in how you access information or access physical devices. Digital equity is the concept in which every person should have equal access to technology such as the internet. Digital equity aims to address the divide in access to digital infrastructure that gives some people advantages over others. Jodia Vanell speaks on women in technology and why having a woman's touch in tech is important. Shout out to all of the amazing uh, female leaders that are out there doing their thing. I think it's important to have representation in uh, the tech space um, based on the reports that we've seen, uh, especially with people of color. We are kind of excluded from this industry. And so to have myself and other women and other people of color representing the industry is critically important. The Bronx Community Foundation also attended and participated in the summit. Rose DeStefano is a consultant there and tells us about the foundation and its mission. Digital equity was a huge part of our effort, getting computers and internet access to, especially to students um, who were then doing remote learning. Um, and it had been about, I guess, maybe two years of that relief effort, just trying to help folks with housing and folks that were coming out of the criminal justice system to land on their feet when the supports weren't there. We are fighting for the Bronx to have digital equity with other boroughs that are more advanced, such as Manhattan. To find out more about organizations and resources, visit our website at www.bronxnet.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Kyrie Moody. And Kyrie, thank you. That is all the time we have for our Bronx updates. We are taking a quick break, but guess what? We got a full open show coming up for you right after this.